this business to hit a grand slam is not to hit a grand slam. That's not how you hit a grand slam. You help a lot of people hit the ball. You help a lot of people take that first step and then see what happens from there. Um, so without further ado, I get to introduce Mr. Diamond Leader, Kevin Rossino, and is it Star Platinum Leader, Zach Thompson. Yeah! Here we go, Kevin! Excited. Okay, one more time, guys. Let's give it up for all the phenomenal speakers we've had thus far. Honestly, I'm <laughs> guys, before we dive on into this thing, what everyone in here needs to understand right now is that leaving here tonight, every single one of you will have absolutely everything you need to create an ungodly, just unimaginable level of generational wealth and to any extent that you want to any extent that you want. Woo! That's serious, like literally dude, we have found it. Like this is it. And before we kick this thing off, before I hand it off to my close friend and mentor, Zach Fox, and someone who, you know, when I was two months in the business, going from a, a, a kid knowing nothing about how to build network marketing, running around with energy drinks, he plugged me into this system that we have, have uniquely modified to give you not just for yourself to get to the next level, but to create a gold factory in your organization to really move, like he said, you forward and hit that home run, you help a lot of other people get to base. All right, who's excited about learning how to create a gold factory, huh? Cool, so uh, without further ado, guys, I wanna kick this thing off with Zach Boxer. Like I said, this guy, I'll cover why at Vima in a second, but to me, the biggest thing is leadership. He's been there with me from thick and thin, day one, and while I jumped at the opportunity, I don't know how Maggie convinced me to get up here, you guys know I hate the spotlight, but you know, I jumped at this opportunity because I know firsthand that in my two months of Vima Dude, my first two months I made $10. Plugging into the leadership, plugging into the system, literally my third month of Vima, frenzy, 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 double frenzy. Not because I'm special, but because the content we're gonna give you guys all today works if you work. Right, so without further ado, your full undivided attention to Zach Boxer. Good question. How many times have you been so far in Vima? This week will be my... Because of the playbook. Because of the playbook. I have friends in front of Eight. Yeah! It's still the work. Guys, I'm excited to be up here. I really am. Like Kevin, not the best with Spotlight. If you had met me two years ago and you told me to speak in front of this many people, I would have fainted. I don't know who here can relate to that. Yeah! Okay. But the biggest thing about it is over the course of the last years, the skills I've developed, the mindset I've developed has allowed me to get up here completely confident and fully believing my own abilities. But really, we're going to be covering the playbook. For those of you that have the playbook, we unfortunately we don't have the slides, but if you have them with you, you can follow along. If you don't have them, what I recommend you do is visualize it, or if you don't have them, purchase a playbook at the end of this event. Right? But first of all, everyone that has the playbook, first of all, we'll congratulate the leadership for making such an incredible Thank you. tool. This is something that you can walk around with and be completely proud of. I can imagine hundreds and thousands of people walking around all over the place with these books, and the thing about it is people question and ask you what this is. It's really cool. I've seen it firsthand a lot. You pull one of these out at a home event, immediately they're going to ask about this, right? So, first thing when you open it up, very simple. They explained it before. We are networking products that people already spend money on throughout the most socially connected generation the world has ever seen during one of the worst economies since the Great Depression. It just makes sense. Lou Kish. Guys, what I recommend you do if you're new. I don't care if you're new, if you've been involved for a year, two years, 10 years. Read that over and sell yourself on why Vimo works. Because if you are not completely sold on this concept, you will never be able to transfer that emotion to someone else. So that's what I recommend, step one. Now in regards to the personal profile, it's very straightforward. If you haven't filled it out, I highly recommend you fill it out. But the important part about it, when you look down, you look at your upline, diamond, platinum, executive, presidential, next to it, phone number, Twitter, Instagram. 
right? First of all, having their numbers readily available to you allows you to know that they are always there to help you every step of the way. Understand that you, if you're in this room right now, you have phenomenal leadership, but you have to take advantage of it. Our arms are fully extended to help you guys every step of the way, but you have to reach out to us. I remember when I was new at the beginning, I was so scared to hit up my uplines. I was thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna be bothering them, it's gonna be a burden, right? We wanna help you guys every step of the way. You know what I mean? And with the Instagram and Twitter, very simply, I know everyone can relate to this, but I hate seeing negativity in my newsfeed. I wanna constantly have a stream of positivity that I look at on a daily basis, because we're all streaming, looking through our Instagram feeds, through our Facebook feeds. And I wanna be, be constantly you know, excited, and, and, and I wanna have belief in what I'm doing. So if you follow the people that have the results that you want, you will see what they're doing, you'll see the likes, and you'll see what's possible. Actually, you know, so I'm actually gonna go over on the dreams page, I'm gonna go over dreams, because I think this is very important. In order to take the action necessary to build your business, you need to first sell yourself again on why you're making this work. What are your dreams? What's gonna wake you up every morning and take the action necessary to build your business? And the biggest thing about it, we talked about it, you need to be real with yourself. Don't write what looks good. Don't write something down and everything you read, just say, hey, that looks good. Don't come up with a why, a dream that sounds good in the home about it. You need to find what's gonna drive you. Because if you don't, you're not gonna take the action. You know, don't say, you know, oh my God, I wanna do something that. If you have to be real with yourself, what do you want? Do you want a nice car? Do you want a Lamborghini? Do you want a mansion? Do you want time and financial freedom? Do you wanna retire your parents? Hi, mom and dad. <laughs> One second, everyone give them a round of applause for taking the trip out here. <laughs> So what I would say, before I pass up to Kevin, completely sell yourself on why you're doing this and be real with yourself. Yeah, um, just to add on to this page, before we move any further, these three questions, hands down, hands down. If you don't have a crystal clear, detailed answer to every single one of these questions, you will never have the right amount of clarity for your mind to give you the fuel the inspiration and the plans to achieve the level of success that you want, right? So, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, he says, you would not have that desire unless you were capable of its attainment, right? You wouldn't have that desire unless that, that dream, your dreams, you wouldn't have it unless you were capable, capable of achieving it. Now, that is not to mean that everyone in this room is gonna exercise that control, you know, far from it. And the reason being is because before you can even think about achieving success, you have, to, you have to really ask yourself, be able to get real with yourself, and, and ask yourself, why are you someone who deserves success? Why are you someone who is going to win and be me? Of all the 106,000 affiliates as of last year, including ground floor opportunity, we'll talk about that in a second, why are you someone who deserves success? You know, I can tell you right now, for me, one of my personal strengths is, uh, you're not gonna see me taking selfies. You know, you're not gonna see me on Snapchat, you're not gonna see me, you know, taking the spotlight. However, what I am good at, number one, I don't mind public speaking. I could care less if I get booed off stage. I, I, I dropped that fear of people who aren't paying my bills a long time ago. You know, number one. But number two, I will do whatever it takes to win. I mean, whatever it takes. And if that means me getting out of my comfort zone and stepping up here to represent my team and use the natural ability that I do have, what I can add value on my team with, hands down, I'm gonna do it, you know, it's done. Hands down, right? So, in contrast, I'm not like Hank DePippo or Hans Perkasa who can just who can just do that, you know, in the middle of a crowd and just get everyone hyped and, and go nuts, dude, that's not me. You know, but through this playbook, and this is one of those golden nuggets that you wanna jot down, not just what, you know, the questions imply, the answers imply, but how you really use it to, to, to kind of get your team to the next level is this question has been able to give me the ability, excuse me, this playbook has given me the ability to position my teammates, to position my team in a, in, in, a, in a position where they're comfortable and they're going to excel, right? If Hans doesn't want to get up there and explain the opportunity, but he can get all of Madison Square Gardens to go nuts, he's going to intro and set the tone for the events. That's something that he can hone in on and just master. Right, if he spent the last four years of his life partying, has a huge social network, me before Vima, had four and a half friends, one of them being vertically challenged guys, I'm not gonna be the most network guy, but I'll run my mouth if he introduces me to his friends. Right, coming up silver, give it up for Hans this week. Woo! 
guys, the thing about this business that I've noticed, and, and myself included, you know, I've been in this thing for about 11 months now. My first home event was December 13th. That's the day Fernanda changed my life, and it really gave me this opportunity. You know, the thing I've noticed is people come into Vima expecting to see results by mimicking or duplicating some, some Vima hero that they see on YouTube. You'll never win that. You will never win being fake. All right, what you have to do is wake up those dormant abilities that you have in you, that you've had since day one, that you don't even know exist, simply because you've never given yourself the time to ask yourself this question. And education here, right? Latin word, do go to evoke from within. Educate yourself and show it off to the world, dude. That's all Vima is. All we're trying to do, all Kish and Jaeger and these, these guys are putting together this playbook is get you thinking about what it is that you have that Kish can't bring to the table, that I can't bring to the table. Because there's something about you that separates you from everybody else, right? Until you get real with yourself and really put some thought into this question and you know hit the books, whatever you need to hit to really get yourself thinking, you'll never win. You know, and then why Vima guys, I mean, I could go on and on about why Vima, but for me, the, the, the day Fernanda handed me a verb, I fell in love. All right, the taste of it, the, the I wanted more, it made me feel good. You know, I was coming, for those of you who don't know my story, I was coming out of a four year depression before Fernanda introduced me to this lifestyle and to this concept lifestyle, I'm already trying to live it in my, my head, right? Uh, before she introduced me to this opportunity, and not just the products, dude, I didn't sleep for the next three days, but I just read the compliment. You know, a couple of you guys know I did this cut coat thing for a while, back when I was 17 years old, three months. I made 15 grand as a 17 year old in, under, in one summer selling cut coat. I looked at the comp plan that Vima has. I'm not even kidding. I really don't think Dave Manners was exaggerating when he said he wanted to jump out the window after he read it. Because for me, it made this, made that look like minimum wage. Right? Residual, long term, generational wealth. Think about what that means for you. Right? And then the timing, which I'm not, I'm not going to steal this thunder. He's going to go into the ground floor opportunity that Vima can provide by you know, explaining to you guys the, uh, the income disclosure page. But get to thinking tonight before doing anything else on your way home. Why Vima? Why you? Very, very simple to do. Simple not to do. Yeah, guys, I'm going to keep it very simple in the income disclosure because it's very straightforward. But the thing that I do, first of all, I show people the VEMA annual earnings based on the ranking that you're at, right? And I say, hey, look, what would you like to earn? And they'll, they'll obviously point one out and I'll say, how about I introduce you to someone who's making me? You know, we all have uplines. You can reach upline and find someone at any ranking. It's just a matter of just working for it and finding the right person. But the most important part of that page, if you can visualize it, at the bottom, it outlines the 2013 customer versus affiliate profile. Right, seventy percent of people in Vima at the end of 2013 were customers. That's pretty cool. That means, I mean, our products are phenomenal. Our business is built off of product sales. For people that are skeptical, product sales. Thirty percent of our business last year was affiliates, and if you look at the number next to it, a hundred to five thousand two hundred and fifty-one. Our company is open now in almost 60 countries around the world. If you go to New York City, I can drive 20 minutes down the road from my house because in New York City, there are 8.4 million people living in New York City. Like I said, there are 105,251 people at the end of 2013 building this business. Tell me that there is not a lot of room for growth in this company. You know? And obviously, you're going to go over goals real quick? Yeah, let's go over goals. Um, I'm gonna quote Kira on this one. She told me something pretty funny on the way over here, guys. Most people live life better at putting together a grocery list than they are putting together their life. It's ridiculous. Better at setting goal what they're gonna buy at the grocery store than what they want to accomplish with their life. It's ridiculous. You know, hands down, guys, the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people, successful people set goals. Right? Fact is, 3% of the world own everything. 3% of the world also write down their goals. You know, once you understand that, it's very easy to see that it's the same 3%. You know, in Pima, guys, we legitimately goal set. We start asking ourselves, what would a winner do to win? And then we just go do it. Very, very simple. You know, I'll, I'll go over how I set my first goal to complete my first cycle, you know, in a second, guys. But understand that just like a couple people, are, um, you know, before me said earlier today, without a goal, how can you know where you're going? Because if you don't, go, don't, don't know where you're going, no one's going to follow you. And what happens if no one follows you? 
you have no one to leave. What happens if you have no one to leave? You have no cycles in your phone. What happens when you have no cycles in your phone? You have no money in your bank. So ultimately, you don't set goals, you have no money in your bank. Set goals. Very, very simple. So I'll go over breaking down a cycle really, really quick. Don't have a lot of time up here, guys. In Vima, what we do is we create a demand, all right? We create a demand for Vima's products in the marketplace. How that demand is measured is by qualifying volume, all right? So for all the 17 and counting products that Vima currently has, they all have a certain amount of qualifying volume attached to it. You know, once you satisfy 180 points of qualifying volume, QB on one side of your business, 360 on the other, you've completed what's called one cycle. The cycle is that long-term sustainable income that will keep growing as your network of distribution goes larger and larger and larger, and you have all these smaller orders reproducing themselves over and over and over, right? Which you can take to whatever extent that you want, depending on how well you are at driving this system and taking tonight's information home and implementing it instead of just leaving here tonight, letting it go in one ear and out the other, right? Um, yeah, I mean, th there's obviously a lot in the playbook. We don't have a lot of time up here, so we're kind of really going over the important parts because a lot of the speakers have also gone over a lot of what we were going to talk about. Uh, but I really want to bring attention to the success system, which is on page 13 of the playbook, probably the most important page in the entire book. It outlines our system, right? Because we always talk about it. You know, up until this point, there's always been a system. The playbook has existed, I like to think, for years. But it's been in our heads. It's been in the leaders' heads. And it's been our job to teach it to people, whether on calls, whether on Skypes, and all this and that. But it's difficult to do that. You know, you guys ever heard the game of telephone? You know, you got like a lot of people sitting in a circle, and one person says a message, and then says it to the next person, says it to the next person. What happens when it goes completely back to the beginning? It's, it's changed, right? And it's very difficult being a leader when you study these people in the industry, people that have built hundreds of thousands of people in their organization. How do they do that? You can't run around and be one incredible person in this business. You have to develop a system. So we talk about it. people develop systems, systems develop the business. And up until this point, we never truly had a, a cookie cutter system. People would always ask me, what's the system? What's the system? And I would try to teach them this and that and that, whatever. Now I can go, here, here's the system. You know, it's simple, duplicatable, because success is the mode. They were talking about it. It's not one person being an incredible leader. It's a lot, of little, a lot of people doing a little bit of work and a little bit of people doing a lot. That's really what it is. So the system, just close it. The system is very simple, but the thing about it is it only works if you follow it. This is a workout plan, but we can't make you work out. That comes back to desire. You're not gonna see the results just having to sit on your desk picking up cobwebs. You have to follow the system on a daily basis, right? So we have a webinar channel. Every Tuesday, Wednesday night, there's a webinar. Tuesday nights, opportunity. Wednesday nights, playbook training. We're not gonna go completely through the playbook right now, but what I recommend you do is go on the YouTube channel, watch a playbook training. I did mine last week. A lot of the top leaders were doing playbook trainings. Kish did one that was absolutely incredible. Look for the one wearing the YPR shirt. Absolutely incredible. Watch that, fill out your playbook with that. System dependence, not upline dependence. Right? There's a SoundCloud account. There are calls going on on a weekly basis. There's one on Saturday, one on Sunday, which I'm going to talk about in a second. They're all recorded on our SoundCloud account. So if you miss a call, you can go back and you can listen to it. You can share with your teams. Right? There's a YouTube channel for all the videos, all the webinars, Tuesday, Wednesday night. They're all recorded. So what I would recommend you do is if you're brand new and you don't know how to present the opportunity, the best thing you can possibly do, go on the YouTube channel and watch like four or five of the opportunities and kind of like a song. The reason why I can present, the reason why Kevin can present, the reason why all the leaders here can present is because we've heard it over and over and over again. Like a song, eventually you can repeat the lyrics, but with this, through your own little twist on it, add your story, boom. And then like, like Jeremy was talking about, just repeat it over and over and over again, right? And then there's the Facebook page. Uh, if everyone on here is in the Facebook page, keep in the loop with that. If you're not, get added to the page, it's absolutely incredible. Uh, there's the new rank commencement call every Friday of the new rank commencement period. What a person making a top income in the company is going to get on and they're going to explain how to get started in the business. There's a quick start training call every Saturday, six figure mentorship call every Sunday. Now at the bottom of the page, you have your personal development. Now that this gets me, right? We list out the things that we all did at the beginning. Every person here did at the beginning. First seven days audio, we mentioned that. 
building your network marketing business by Jim Rohn, art of recruiting, compound effect, building business of the 21st century, think and grow rich. Don't just read these to read these. Read them to master them. It's amazing, because people in my organization, just all throughout, you can probably relate, new people will read through these books incredibly fast, and they'll go, okay, what now? What now? And I'm like, did you read them? They'll be like, yeah, I'm like, we'll reread them. Master them, right? It's not about having a massive bookshelf. I unfortunately did that a lot at the beginning. I didn't make any money my first three to four months in the business because I was so caught up in reading, in reading. And then I realized that after all that time, I had no business. And so I saw that I needed to take action. And rather than just reading the books, master them and apply them, right? There's a quote by Bruce Lee that says, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Master it. And then apply it to your business. Yeah, one last thing, guys, because we only got a couple seconds. Um, you know, when we first got up here, we said we'd leave you with a golden nugget, something that you could literally just take home with you right now and implement it to cycle Right, so what that is, it's kind of like what, I, it's what I've been teaching, you know, my team, which I feel like has definitely worked, is leveraging the playbook into immediate involvements. Right, now how we do that, you're gonna need four, four parts of the playbook to put it all together. What I've been teaching is number one, your dreams. Right, this is what you're gonna share with your friend. Hey man, I'm excited. You share it with them your dreams, right? Hey, I'm excited because the Luke Kishpo in the front. Well, that's a concept, that's what you're excited about. Right, say hey, I thought of you because their desire and need, which you should have filled out in the list. And then lastly, three-way leverage, the credibility channel. That's exactly what we've been teaching my, my, our teams ever since the playbook came out. You know, and it, this, isn't, this isn't theory, like since we implemented it, it would have been friends in like four months. You know, I've been thinking I know what I'm doing. This helped me get back on track, right? This helped me, it gave me more clarity. And teaching this onto my teams, what I cycled last month, I've done this already already. Literally just implementing what's in this playbook. So it works if you guys, if you work guys, last thing I want to do is just, I'm very, very grateful. I want to thank, you know, the leadership of the Elite Network and by leadership, I don't mean the guys out here in front stage. I mean every single one of you, because if you think that leadership is determined by income or rank, you're se severely, severely confused. You know, my job was to help add value to you, have you guys leaving here tonight understanding that there is someone inside of you just waiting to erupt and just run around and just... I can't even, that feeling, man, it's just like, <clears throat> that's all I believe is, <clears throat> that's it. You know, so thank you for you guys giving us the time to come out here. The leadership you guys with, hands down, number one. You guys, when I first started Vima, I had no idea what I was doing. Thankfully, Tyler Small, you know, Anton Dukabauer, Turner Simon, Andrew Yeager, let me go crash at their house, you know, learn the business. That's when I came out with these frenzies back-to-back -back after, just plugging with the leadership. So dig up line, guys, get excited, get your hands in the playbook, order your Philly packs, and let's get to work, all right? And Kevin! What do you think, guys? Yeah.